Hello there. Only one Kenobi here. Only one. And welcome to the channel. This is VC173, and it is episode 173 of the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. So if you want to see the rest of this series, there is a link below. Um, almost up to date now. Fantastic. I've been doing this for two years. Can you believe it? Wow. It's only because I've had other things I've been doing on the channel other than these, but still, there's an archive now on my channel of the entire vintage collection, and here it is here. Well, and we can go 360. Watch me. Oh, I can't even... <laughs> there was an obstruction there. It's all going on here. Right, anyway. So there's a lot of people who've said to me that this should have been on a Clone Wars card back. Well, I, I will disagree with one element of that. You can't have him looking like that on a Clone Wars card because that's how he looks at Galaxy's Edge. I've not been, but I would love to go. But, you know, obviously... If you think about that, that's a considerable number of years after the Clone Wars events. You know, it's after the events of the Return of the Jedi, you know. And the, even those were 20 years after the Clone Wars. So it would be have would have been nice if they had, say, done a figure of him realistic on a Clone Wars card. That, of that, there's no doubt. But this is what he looked like in Galaxy's Edge. Uh, and one thing I am ha thankful for is that they haven't done a Galaxy's Edge card back because... You know, there's only so many characters that you can have in a line for Galaxy's Edge. So that brings me to the final point, which is they have opted to put all expanded universe stuff now, say, you know, on a Star Wars card back. And that is good. However, it's not good that we don't have expanded universe no, no more because I love, excuse me, I love that line. I'm really sorry to see it go. I would love to see anything that is going on. Beyond the movies, like, say, events at Galaxy's Edge or, you know, this, that, the other shadows of the Empire, although that's not canon. I, is it? No, I don't think that is canon anymore. But this expanded universe brand or whatever you want to call it is just extra beyond the movies. It doesn't exist no more. But it doesn't matter. The good thing is that they're not doing legends is what I wanted to say. Still, anyway, I'm bumbling on. And what I'll do is I'll just show you the card first. So as I say, it's on the Star Wars card, which you can't go wrong. It's just neutral. And it's a nice image of him. And the figure's great as well. That's what he looks like at Galaxy's Edge. But um, they could have modified it to make him... I mean, I don't know. Did he Did he wear that? He, he kind of looked like that. He hasn't aged that much at all or changed in appearance. So they could have modded it. But still, they want to push their Galaxy's Edge agenda which I've got no complaint about the characters or anything design of Galaxy's Edge because I quite like it all. But still, that's the card you've got there. Uh, no Legends, no Galaxy's Edge, just straightforward Star Wars. Um, but still, my... I'm sort of digressing here. My, my main concern with this is that we will never, ever now get... It's things like Plagueis, Darth Plagueis the Wise and Mara Jade, man. Oh, what a shame that we'll never, ever get to see them now. On a Star on a Galaxy's Edge. Oh my God! Bruh. Oh, expanded Universe card. But still, that's why the way they're going forward. At least you're not getting Legends. But anyway, here we are, and here we are. So this is the figure. I'll talk about the peg holes in a minute, but the detail is fantastic. There's one problem with the figure, and that is the peg holes. But well, I'll show you later. Look at the detail. the The actual audio animatronic they've got at Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Galaxy's Edge looks. Phenomenal. And if he breaks down, they just get rid of him and they put they project it on a screen or something like that. But look at this. I haven't even got him on any of the peg holes. Look at that. Um, the reason I've put him on the uh, actual stand anyway is so that it means that I don't have to press down on this spinner here. Lots of people ask where I got this from. I got it from eBay about four years ago now. Don't ask me who the seller was. I have no idea. I think it came from China. But it's really good. And that has been spinning on one, the same battery for at least... Oh my god, I can get a whole year out of spinning with one battery, maybe more. It's like a clock. But um so that's why I've put him on that to save pressing the figure down with the blue tack and putting pressure on that and breaking it or something. So I put him on that first. But here's the detail, he's here's the deal that his feet are so shallow, the peg holes hate it when they do that. It happened on him as well. His aren't deep enough. Usually it happens on female figures because they've only got diddy feet. Like Leia usually doesn't even have any peg holes. But still, he's awesome. Really good. 
such a cool character as well, a pirate man. So I actually have him right now on my katana. I don't know where else to put him. I don't want to put him anywhere near my... Technically, he looks like that during the sequels. I don't want to put him on my sequel shelf. Who the hell am I going to have him stood by? Rose Tico? You know? Finn? Ray? No. I've got all my figures in chronological order in the other room. And, you know, I've got lots of characters for the sequels. And they're great. I love the look of some of the characters in the sequel trilogy. And that's all I get to say about that. I won't talk about story or plots there. But still, um, he just... I did try and put him next to Chewie. And it just didn't look right at all. But he looks much better on the barge. Because, you know, at the end of the day, he, the barge is like a, a galleon, isn't it? And pirates and that, this, that, the other. I did tr also try and put him on my Clone Wars shelf. But it did my head in. Because I know that he is a good... 40 years older than that. Is it 40 years? Is it 50 years since the Clone Wars? So it's Clone Wars, 20 years takes you to New Hope, then five more years to the events of Mando, that's 25 years, and then, what is it, the sequels are another 25 years ahead of that, are they? Is it 30 years after Return of the Jedi? I don't know. Uh, but still, he hasn't aged a hell of a lot. So he would have been looking like that around the time. I think Galaxy's Edge is the era of yeah, post Last Jedi. So there you are. But he's a cool character. I like him a lot. Hando, he's got a real character. He is a weak way, of course. You can't beat that species. Awesome. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Don't forget to tap a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. It's free. And um, wait for the next episode, which will be 174. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.